Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to look at how we can add web parts to InfoPath list forms. Okay, on the screen now you'll see a list where I'm holding some sales information. I have sales amounts, sales targets, etc. against the different US states. Looking at any of the edit forms for these items, you'll see it's a pretty drab form. For me, looking at this, if I want to update the sales target, I'd really like to have some sort of view of what sort of performance this state has had in the past to help me better assess what the sales target should be. So first of all, I'm going to use InfoPath 2010 to change the form. Going into the list tab here, I can click Customize Form. This will open InfoPath. I can make a few changes here to make it look a little better. I'm going to set the theme of this to be blue, just to differentiate it from the normal form. That's fine, but try as you might here, if you look at the controls which you can put on here, if you look at the objects which you can insert here, there's no option to add a web part. There's a little trick here about how you can do this. I'm going to publish this, but the one thing I'm going to do as a bit of preparation first is I'm going to go into the form load option here and I'm just going to tell it that when the form loads it should be sending its data to another web part. That's all I have to do for now. That's it. Now to save my changes I just do the quick publish here. Now you'll see that when we edit any of these items we now get our InfoPath form. However, we still don't have anything like a web part to show us the information that we want to see. Okay, how are we going to do that? Well, when we're editing an item, we have this dialog box. You may not know this, but these dialog boxes are actually just SharePoint pages with styling to hide the edges. If I right click on this and properties, I can actually find out what the address of this page is. So I'll just copy that. Now if I open another tab, and the one thing I have to do to make this work is get rid of this last argument here, is dlg equals 1. That's telling it that it's a dialog box and changes the styling. If I get rid of that, I'm actually on the page now where that form is. And if I edit this page, you'll then discover that my InfoPath form is actually hosted as a web part on this page. And so, of course, I can add extra web parts onto this page. So, for example, I can now add a chart web part onto here, and I can connect this chart web part to my existing web part, my InfoPath form web part. I'm just going to configure this to show me some sales history information from a different list. Which is also here for my states.
So I'm just setting up my chart here. My Y field is going to be the sales amount and my X field is going to be the year. We're nearly ready now. The last thing I need to do it's just taken me out of page edit mode. I'm just going to go back in there. The last thing I'm going to do is connect these web parts up. So it's going to show me the graph for the state that I'm editing. Okay. That's that. If I stop editing, that'll save my changes. Now, when I go to edit any of these states, my form now has a chart which is detailing the latest sales history. And just to show this is real, if I open up another state, you'll see that the information is different in the chart. That concludes today's video.